All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're not from Maine or New England, I guess, a big thing up here is trolling with fly rods. A lot of people do that early in the year for trout and salmon. They just use a, uh, a heavier weight fly rod with sinking line, and there's not a lot of info out there, and a lot of people don't really give a lot of info on setups and, and different techniques to use for, you know, for that type of fishing. But I've tried a few different setups myself. I've never really fallen in love with any of them. Of course, I have this weird obsession of finding like the perfect rod. I never seem to be happy until I find that perfect rod. So problem is when you use a traditional fl single-handed fly rod like this, you're gonna troll with it. One of the problems is that they don't fit in regular style tube rod holders. You stick it in there, even if it has a little bit of a butt section, it's not going to stay in there. So you need some type of cradling rod holder, like this Scotty rod holder, where you can kind of lock it in there a little bit like that. Um, even even that isn't really that secure because the butt section is so small. Uh, a lot of people use like the Down East rod holders, which I think are absolute garbage in my opinion. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I really don't like those things. Never had a good experience with them. The other problem is that when you get a fish on, you don't have a lot of leverage to really, I mean, a traditional single-handed fly rod off a boat while you're moving, it's kind of hard to land that fish and everything. Um, so what I want to do is I want to build the ultimate trolling fly rod. So what I do know is that I need a rod seven to eight weight. That's going to work the best for me. I already have the fly line. It's a full sink fly line. I got it from L.L. Bean. I want a nice butt section so I can fit it in this style of rod holder and get it way out off the boat if I want to. And I want a nice size reel on it so it can hold a lot of line. So I've already ordered the materials for this. I ordered a nice blank. It's a uh, 9 foot 6 7 weight, which was really kind of hard to find. Uh, I wanted the extra 6 inches so I could add a butt section onto the back of that. Well, we can talk about it more, but we're going to do like a little montage here of me putting this rod together. And then we'll kind of go over what the rod is and uh, we'll go fish with it some and see how it works. I think it's going to be perfect. Alright guys, so this thing came out super sick. It's uh, better than I expected. This is one of my favorite trolling rods that I have. So we put a nice long butt section on there. I think that's about a 9 inch butt section. 
so it fits in our rod tubes really nicely. It can also go in the cradle style rod holders off the back really easily. I put a wind grip, four grip, it's a regular fly rod grip right on the front. Kind of a cool addition. I wanted this to kind of be like a blacked out look, smoke black. Um, so we did all the wraps, kind of hard to tell on camera, but we did all the wraps in a uh, kind of like a light olive green and I did some black metallic under wraps on these bigger guides, first couple ones. And then the rest are, I upsized um, for a, like a 10 weight rod, I upsized the, uh, this is the seven weight, but I put 10 weight guides on there so we can fit that line so we can get it shooting out there nice and easily. And I got those in black. On the very end, we just put a little bit of orange on the tip, just as like a little sight indicator. Kind of a cool little addition there. Um, I got the Lamson Liquid 4 on there, and I have two spools for this. I have the full sink line on here, that dark stuff there, and that's just orange backing in there. And we can pop this spool off, put straight mono on if we want to troll right on the surface or just under the surface. And also, we can use this on the downrigger, which was absolutely sick. It was so much fun. If you guys fish a lot and you haven't built your own rod, it's a ton of fun. It's really rewarding um, to be able to build something like this and actually catch fish on it. So definitely would recommend trying that. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. If you could leave a comment down below, that helps me out as well. Hit that like button and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.